So hello. Today we're going to look at harvesting blackberries. Now blackberries grow wild. You can grow yourself if you like, but to me half the fun is the fact that they're wild and we can pick them for nothing. Now if you're picking blackberries, go out, you can put them in a plastic bag by all means. It's better if you've got something flat and low with a handle. That way they don't get squashed. Wait for a day when it's dry. Not sunny, but dry. Wet blackberries only keep for a few hours. So they start to go furry and mouldy then and they start to lose flavour. So pick them when they're dry. Don't squash them. And uh, basically they're for free. So keep on going. The thing to notice though is not all blackberries are the same. Taste one or two. The more blander ones are best in crumbles and uh, the sharper ones are best in jams. Now whenever you cook anything you lose a lot of the flavour. So if you're cooking blackberries you really want the sharpest ones. The ones that make your mouth go, oh that's a bit strong. Because by the time you cook them for about an hour you've lost a lot of that flavour and they taste just perfect. If you are making jam my advice is cook all the blackberries without the sugar and with apples and lemons as many cooking apples as you got blackberries and when they're all cooked together you put them through a strainer and then the juice you add sugar 600 ml to one pound of sugar and then you bring it back up to the heat again without all the pips in it make sure it reaches boiling point so it will bubble nicely Test it on a cold plate to make sure it will set and then you've got bramble jelly. Bramble jelly to me is better because it doesn't have the pips in that get stuck between your teeth and it's absolutely delicious. Once you've made it yourself you'll never go back to shop bought jams. Now these blackberries are completely wild, not the best. The best blackberries are picked first thing so they're like the ones that are on the top of the branches. So if we've got a branch here, the first ones that somebody else has had will be the big ones. They're the ones for dessert, have with ice cream. The rest, well, they're good for anything else. These today we're picking is the blackberry vinegar, which is perfect if you've got a cough during the winter, but he's in a sore throat. So we don't make much of it, but we'll make a couple of bottles and that'll do all through the winter and then we can make some more next year. Blackberries don't have a lot of pectin in, so if you need them to set, then add apples. It's the best idea. Um, not a lot else really to say about them. If you're lucky, you can find wild raspberries as well. If you're really lucky, you find a really good spot to pick some blackberries where they really crop heavily. Um, quite often though, it's a lot of looking and seeing and testing where they are. My advice is never pick the low ones where there's dog walkers about because you never know what sort of off flavours you're going to find. So always the high ones, um, never pick the mouldy ones, use them as quick as you pick them. So pick this morning, cook this afternoon, put them in the fridge if not, their flavour loses a bit and they go a bit mushy and they're never as good. Try not to pick them in plastic bags because once you put them in a plastic bag then you can't get them out again without smashing them. And try and go through them and take the stalks off when you pick them because afterwards there's a lot of messing around and it's better to do them now. Otherwise, get out in that country and really enjoy it. It's good for you, good for the kids and it's full of vitamin C. So that's me on this grow Joe. We will, when I eventually find some spring greens, be planting some good spring green seeds and um, I've actually managed to track down some winter onions as well so we'll be planting them soon so if you're out and about look for those things and a variety to look for is uh, early cabbage and Durham early and um, that's a good spring green anyway it's Vince here from today's Grow Joe or Pick Joe whatever you like to call it signing out